So the subclass Coleoidea contains seven living orders, which includes octopuses, two orders of true squids, cuttlefish, spirulas, bobtail squids, and vampire squids. So bobtail squids are actually more closely related to cuttlefish than true squids, and vampire squids are more related to octopuses than true squids. Coleoids alive today are split into two superorders, decapodiforms and octopodiforms. So octopodiforms include the order Octopoda, which is made up of octopuses, and the order Vampyromorpha, which is made up of vampire squids. So octopodiforms alive today all have eight arms, and as well as eight arms, vampire squids also have two sensory filaments. So decapodiforms includes five living orders, so Myopsida and Egopsida, which are true squids, Serpiida, which includes cuttlefish, Sepiolida, which includes bobtail squids, and Spirulida, which includes ram's horn squids. So decapodiforms all have eight arms and two generally longer specialised feeding appendages called tentacles. So nautiluses, which belong to the subclass Nautiloidea, actually have about 90 tentacle-like appendages called Ciri. So Coleoidea also includes a third extinct group, Belemnoidea, which includes the Belemnites, which belong to the order Belemnitida, and a few of their relatives, such as their ancestors, the Orlococerids. So Belemnites lived from the late Triassic to the late Cretaceous, and Belemnites had ten equal length hooped arms, and in the case of Pasilotuthis, two additional large hooks that extended from the base of its arms. So Belemnites hooks were made out of chitin. So octopodiforms descended from a common ancestor that had ten arms, so a 300 million year old fossilised octopod called Pulsepia had 10 arms with two slightly longer than the rest. And the same pair of arms that were lost in octopods were reduced to sensory filaments in vampyromorphs. So decapodiforms modified a different pair of arms into their tentacles. As also Pulsepia didn't have any hooks or suckers on its arms. So as well as arms and tentacles, Bellumnites and all living colloids except some octopuses have two fins which are located at the top of their mantle. So Pulsepia, which is the oldest octopod fossil, had two fins and so did the first octopod fossil to ever be discovered, Paleoctopus. The octopus suborder Serena has retained these fins while the typical octopus suborder Inserina have lost these fins.